If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to see about Gitness. So what is Gitness and how you can get started with Gitness? So basically, Gitness is an open source code hosting and pipeline engine. It is a new offering from Harness. So everyone is uh, familiar with and also been working with uh, Git. So Git is free and open source distributed version control system where everything is local. So you maintain a repo, you can go uh, back and forth between multiple branches and also a various timeline and you pull, push, merge. So all sort of uh, Git activities you do uh, locally. Then you have github.com. So again, everybody would have uh, working with uh, github.com where you will work with your projects uh, on the cloud and you collaborate with other developers to manage your projects. It is more than that, but I'm just uh, simplifying the uh, github.com. And you have other offerings like uh, Git uh, and also we have uh, GitLab and we have Codeberg. And of course, there are a lot of uh, code repositories out there where you can use it for free to host your code and manage your projects. So what is uh, special in Gitness? So Gitness, from my experience, so whatever I have uh, been playing with Gitness on past one week, so it is very fast and it's very uh, straightforward uh, with its features and uh, you get used to the uh, ecosystem uh, pretty quickly. Basically, the learning curve is uh, small and they have a you know pretty much a concise uh, documentation where you can refer the things quickly and you can get the things done. And also it is closely, you know, you can gel with your harness ecosystem. Now let us see how you can get started with Gitness. So all you need is Docker. So once you have Docker up and running, you have to just issue this command, which will run the uh, Gitness in your uh, Docker. So here we are running Docker uh, in a daemon mode, hyphen D, and the port we are associating with uh, 3000 and two volumes. One is for the docker.sock and another one is to store your uh, Gitness data. And the name is Gitness, the container name, and restart always, and harness slash Gitness is the image. So once you hit enter, for the very first time, it will download uh, the image, and then uh, it will start the container in a daemon mode. Since I have already downloaded the image, you can directly see the uh, container uh, ID. So now if you just uh, enter Docker container uh, ls, you can see the uh, harness slash Gitness here. So now, let us go back to Safari and hit localhost 3000 and hit enter. So for the very first time, you will get the sign up page. So here you need to sign up by clicking on the sign up link and enter say the user ID, QA insights, and you can give some you know dummy email ID because it's local, it doesn't matter and give the super secret password and hit sign up. So once you successfully signed up, you will see the home page. So the very first step once you sign up and signed in with the Gitness is you have to create the project. Just to click on new project and just give some name, Gitness uh, demo, you know. So it is automatically correcting to fitness uh, from Mac. So just uh, change it and click on create project. So project is like uh, where uh, you can think of like a folders, you know. Uh, to manage uh, various projects but within the project you need to create a repository so to create a repository just uh, hit new repository and it's you can say uh, hello world and here there are two options one is the public repo and private repo and by default it is selecting the private repo and uh, optionally you can add the license so in this case let us go with uh, apache 2. license and we are going to create some python project so i'm going to add the git ignore for the python and check this box for, for an add me a file and click on hit uh, create repository button. So now you successfully created a project and you successfully created a repository. So repository has git ignore, license and readme. So now it's time to clone the repository. Just uh, hit clone and you will get the uh, git clone URL. So just copy this and please generate clone credential if it is first time. So you have to generate the clone credentials as well because this is what uh, it's required since it's a private repository you need the username and the uh, api token to clone the repository so now head back to terminal and let me clear my screen and we are going to git clone and hello world so git clone hello world hit enter 
so it is uh, giving a message uh, you know authentication failed right so now let me just try again so now it will ask you to enter the uh, username so now just head back to the uh, gitness and copy the username and copy the api token and paste it here so now you can see my hello world project so now let us go inside hello world and i'm going to open in code and let us uh, create a quick you know uh, python project and push it and let us uh, leverage the pipelines so let me create a new uh, python file so it is says say hello dot py and here i'm going to write a hello function you know so it will uh, take name as a argument and we are going to return and print hello function coding so this is very uh, simple uh, hello.py so now let me bring the uh, terminal here and we are going to uh, create a new python uh, you know vnv so virtual environment we are going to create this virtual environment called my vnv so that we can install pytest and uh, we can uh, use this in the pipeline so eventually we will see why i am creating the pytest so now let me uh, activate the uh, my vnv so here i'm going to install pip3 uh, pytest so pytest is installed so now i'm going to leverage a github copilot to generate the uh, you know pytest for this so i'm going to select this and i'm going to hit command i and i'm going to ask the copilot uh, generate you know pytest for this hit enter so this will uh, you know quickly gives and i'm going to click on accept so here in the right side you can see test i underscore hello and automatically uh, generated the uh, you know pytest for us so now i'm going to uh, test this you know pytest and hit enter so here you can see one is passed and if you want to see the uh, verbose output you can use hyphen v you know so you can see the uh, verbose output so now we are uh, done with a couple of things one is uh, pytest we installed and then we created a function so those two things is done so now i'm going to use the uh, pip3 freeze command so that uh, pipeline can use the requirements.txt uh, which has all the uh, requirements for this particular project so now i'm going to add this to my uh, repository so i'm going to commit with uh, inception code and push done now let us go back to you know safari and hit refresh okay so now you see the uh, whatever uh, the artifacts we have created it is uh, already present so now the next step is pipeline so pipeline is a way where you can automate uh, stuffs for you right so you can uh, you know build you can uh, test you can uh, push now deploy so whatever the stuffs you do let us automate this so now go to pipeline and click on new pipeline and i'm going to uh, gitness uh, hello so this is my new pipeline name so i'm going to use the particular uh, pipeline for the python project so i'm going to paste this particular pipeline so here the name of this pipeline is test and the type is run and the container is python so basically it will create a python container and then it will run this particular script so first it will install the requirements.txt in this repo and then it will uh, write uh, it will execute the uh, pytest so in this case let us go with the hyphen v so that it will print the uh, verbose output so basically what this will do is it will clone the repo and it will run the pipeline for you so now let me hit save and run and click on run pipeline and first step is uh, cloning so here if, as you see it's cloned the repository and it is pulling the uh, latest image uh, of library slash python and it's installing the requirements and then uh, as you see at the bottom it is uh, displaying the hello uh, test hello.py and the function is pass 100 percentage so this is how you automate stuffs in gitness using the pipeline again if you would 
deep dive into the uh, documentation there are various ways you can uh, run parallelly sequentially and you can uh, a lot of customization can be done so it is similar to github actions so now another cool thing in uh, gitness is uh, swagger so if you go to uh, you know localhost 3000 swagger you will get all the apis uh, for uh, gitness so admin connector account so basically you can just send this uh, you know post get update uh, uh, delete you know so those things you can uh, uh, programmatically you can write your own framework and then you can you know automate uh, one further level up so these are the uh, you know few things i want to uh, showcase in this demo so i hope this particular uh, gitness will be very helpful if you want to you know uh, do it in a hobby project or if you want to implement in your project definitely you can check it out it's very lightweight very fast and all the features are there and of course uh, more features uh, to come but this is the first look of gitness so thanks for watching have a great day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel